<gasps> Has this become a, a turned into a, a food vlog? Hold on. A brand offered me quite a bit of money. My pronouns are he, him, and I love you too. I love you too. I love you too. You're so cute. Love you. Yeah. You okay. Bye. Bless the Superman. Ciao. Bye, Frankie. Yes, I can't hold it. Bye, Frankie. Love you. Now that is the cutest way to kick off the vlog with my niece screaming I love you <laughs> what is up beautiful people now people always stop me in the street and they say to me hey aren't you and I say yes it's me tools thank you so much for tuning into my youtube channel if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back T squad if you want to be a part of the T squad all you got to do is hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel because it's fun and it's free to subscribe Welcome to a new weekly vlog. I'm kicking it off on a Monday. But before we get things started, I want you to go grab something to eat and something to drink while I entertain you. Speaking of snacks, it is lunchtime. But this dum-dum forgot to take out the crab sticks out of the freezer for a recipe that I wanted to make for lunch. But I'm going to make that recipe with you tomorrow. It's very exciting. And you probably know what it's going to be. It's, I'm excited to try it. But I need something for lunch now. And I don't have anything for dinners this week. I need dinners for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, I might go out. So I need dinners for four nights. And I discovered the most... Well, actually, I've known it for a while. But... It's so genius. It's frozen for you. So if you followed me on Instagram for a while, you would have known that I did a campaign years ago with frozen for you. And basically it's just meals that are frozen that you can heat up and Bob's your uncle. The advantage is, is that you're not tasting the same thing like we do at Woolworths. Secondly, what I love about Frozen for you is that you can just put it in the air fryer from Frozen. It doesn't need to defrost. Oh, that's, I'm, it makes me so happy. So last week, okay, I'm not being paid for this, by the way. Um, last week, I had the chicken chow mein, which was incredible. Yes, the Chinese chicken chow mein. I'm going to link it down below, so if you can, um, you can order it. Where are the other stores, Phyllis? Joburg, where is in Joburg? And there's one in Danefern, right? Hobart Square in Bryanston, yes. Peter Place, yes, I know that one. Where else? Where? Neighborhood Square. Neighborhood Square, where's that? Okay. Okay. And, but people can order online on frozenforyou.co.za and you deliver. Okay, how much is that delivery? Okay, perfect. 85 Rand for delivery. So you can shop all the things that you want. I'm gonna give you suggestions. Um, Chinese chicken chow mein is incredible. I've also had, I think I'm gonna have, today I'm gonna to have this sticky chicken, Phyllis. I think, um, yeah, that's, I'm gonna do that. Um, so I'm gonna, so as I said earlier, I need to get a couple of meals for the week. Um, and they also do big, portions so me being single and just cooking for myself or heating up food for myself um they've got portions for one and they've also got portions that go up to uh, a family size so there's chicken fish beef lamb vegetarian and yeah it's amazing so uh yeah it's i tried it last week so yeah last week i tried the um 
Chinese chicken chow mein. Then I had the fish bake, which was okay. Um, the traditional fish pie. Traditional fish pie. Yes, that's what I had. Um, I had to add like no. chutney. And then I also had, where was it? Knuckles, lamb knuckles, which were delicious. Absolutely delicious. And you just make your rice and then you're done. It's easy. So I'm gonna shop for a couple of things for this week and yeah, we'll see how it goes. This is for them 30 something that didn't turn out exactly how your mom and dad wanted to be. This is for them 40 something. Well, raise up your glass and laugh like a mother. This is for them 50 something. Hell, you're halfway there, baby. Take it to the head. Mom and dad try to hide the world. Said the world's just too big for a little girl. Uh, the other day I had the locks on my door changed and the locksmith was here. He sees the tripod and he's doing his work and then he goes, so are you a content creator? And I'm like, oh no, 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 sir. In my head, I'm just like, sir, please just do your job that you're here. Please don't get, I don't like it when people are way too familiar and they want to, you know, Especially if you're doing, you're in service, you're doing a job, a service job for me. Let's not do this. Can we not have this kind of conversation? And I said, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'm something like that. Um, and he's like, yeah, in the 70s, what, 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 I was like, yeah, I wasn't born in the 70s. So, yes, I know he was being friendly, etc. But... Yeah, <laughs> maybe I just wasn't in the mood. <laughs> Shame. Yeah, he was trying to make conversation, but I just wanted him to do what he needed to do and leave. Because A, he was late, which was annoying. And B, uh, he was getting way too familiar. So, got some creamy bacon linguine. So that I'm going to leave for Wednesday, Thursday. Tonight I have some avo. So I'm going to do like a little bit of Mexican vibe. And I do have some salsa. So we're going to do the chicken enchiladas. And then I've got some rice ready. And that'll be for tomorrow, which will be sticky chicken. So there's portions for one, which are these sizes. And then there's portion for two people um because i just thought you know it's i don't mind eat, eating uh bacon linguine for uh two days so this can go into the freezer and this is what i love is that you know you will always have a meal ready you know i'm actually excited to try the chicken enchiladas tonight you know what i mean where have you ever heard me being excited to cook? Wild to me. Uh, but for now, before I go to gym, let's have this sticky rice salad with pick pickled vegetables and fresh slaw mix. Just a quick, 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 quick snack. Quick, quick, quick snack um, before I go to gym later. Someone by the side And I can't go on without you another night Says the pen and 
friendship's been done My life has been so slow without you You See, you don't take a right to say this to one of you And you don't take a right to say this to one of you there is a chill in the air. It smells like rain is coming. Could it be the first Joburg thunderstorm approaching us? It's very exciting to wash away all the dryness and the just the winter away. Um, if you've ever seen a Joburg thunderstorm before, it is incredible. It's beautiful. Um, especially when you're indoors <laughs> but yeah i hope we get some rain soon what a terrible workout because i forgot these i forgot my airpods at home so i didn't really do a workout i walked for a bit and i was like now i can hear the gym so no Oh, at least tomorrow I'm gonna go to Pilates and I'll get a proper workout in but very frustrated that I did not take my airpods what I need is a set of headphones that stays in this bag and then other headphones that I use when I'm editing and working not that I use these airpods when I'm editing and working but you know, I just need a set that just stays in here, always. And another pair of earphones that I use when I'm, you know, w roaming around the house and doing other th things. Anyways, uh, I have decided that I'm going to do a live stream. Speaking of live streams, I think Apple is about to announce the iPhone 16. Speaking of AirPods and Apple products. So, yeah. That's what's happening right now. And then I'm going to go live at 8 p.m. So I'll set up for that. And I'll eat a little bit later because I'm not hungry right now. Yeah, I'm not hungry right now. So that's that. Just finished my live broadcast of Tools Live. Uh, it went very well and I had fun and you know the more and more I do it the better and better I become and it's super fun I really really enjoy it especially engaging with um, the comments and all the people that are there for the live so it, and it also riles me up and people have their opinions so it's also very very cool so uh, make sure you Check it down below. I'm going to link it uh, down below so you can go check it out. Uh, even though you don't watch the live when it's uh, broadcasted, uh, you can uh, catch a repeat, So, which I've linked it down below. Um, I'm just analyzing the clips and well, putting them into one minute uh, clips for uh, Reels and Instagram, uh, Reels and TikTok. So let's see. I've got a new program that's doing it automatically. So let's see how it does. And yeah, it's also Tools Live is also on a brand new channel. So you that's why you might not have seen it here uh, because it's on a, a separate channel. So please subscribe to that channel. I would love for you to join in on the fun that we have. Uh, so I, I don't have a schedule as of yet, but I want to get to a schedule where it's maybe, you know, I'm trying to do it frequently to get in the hang of it. But once I have it waxed and I have a certain equipment to do certain things, then I'll have guests on, we'll have competitions, we'll have segments. Uh, so... Yeah, that I w wanted to get to that stage. But for now, I'm practicing on my own to be entertaining by myself because sometimes guests uh, let you down. So you still need to perform, you know, and do the thing. So, yeah, um, I hope that it grows and it becomes something a lot bigger. I thought I wasn't hungry, but I am. 
let's make those chicken enchiladas. And even though they're frozen, I can uh, heat them up from frozen. That's why we love frozen for you. Okay, air fryer. Set to 180, remove sleeve and film. Okay, and then cover with foil and place in basket. Defrosted for 10 minutes, frozen 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes and then seven minutes to heat further. Perfection. I'm gonna give you my honest review on this. What I think of it. Obviously I told you the ones that I liked that I saw in the store. Cause I had them last week. But the fish bake, um, just I feel like it needed, like I, I had to add chutney to it because I didn't, I didn't like, it's like it was lacking some flavor. But the others was sensational. Loved her. What was another? if this other is still okay to make guac. Guac is extra, girl. Oh, it's perfect! It went to private school! Hey, girl! Tell me where I get this bin Not to leave when I turn me on the foil and then heat for another five to seven minutes. Ooh, smells good. Come on. Seven. And then food will be ready. Okay, she ready. But the question is, does it taste as good as it looks? Clean air fryer. I mean, <laughs> I've struck gold with frozen for you. Okay. Let me open this up because it is very hot. Oh girl. Ooh. My mouth is watering. And you know the common thing with these things that you heat from frozen, the outside might be uh, hot and done, you know, perfectly, but then the inside is ice cold. So let's test and see. Oh. Could use, hold on, it's going to get a 6 out of 10 for me. It's good, but it's not incredible. I was expecting a little bit better, like, like taco seasoning on the chicken. Like the chicken is a little bit bland. Yeah. Uh, or something like that. I love the rest of the filling with the beans and... Uh, but it's good. 
It's not amazing, but it's good. As you saw, last night I did not have any wine and I had a great sleep, I won't lie. Um, and I woke up not feeling tired or groggy or anything like that. So let's keep that up and see how we go along. Something that I pride myself on very much is that I am honest and authentic on all my social media platforms whether it's a restaurant I'm going to eat at whether it's a product I receive whether it's a service that I'm experiencing I'm always going to be authentic and honest when I speak about anything on my social media platforms. I mean, this is why I have worked with the brands that I have worked with for many, 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 many years is because A, I used to be a customer before I was a social media a content creator influencer in this space. And I have used Dermalogica for many, many years. I have been uh, purchasing Drum alone for many years. Um, I enjoy and I drink Ciroc vodka. I enjoy and I drink Bombay Sapphire gin. And Southern Right has been a wine that I've enjoyed since I've had Ashbourne. So I have always worked with brands that I love and I enjoy. And there's been new brands that have come into my realm that approached me. And wanted to work with me and I had to assess certain things and I was like okay maybe this will work or no this is not going to work so one thing for me that I'll never do is I'll always be loyal to the brands that I work with and I won't do anything that is of competing because I can't be promoting one thing here one thing here and then then the next day I'm promoting something different which is the same thing, you know, I, it, it doesn't give me credibility. It's, I lose my credibility with you when I do that, is that I'm saying, oh, I, you know, my iPhone is the best iPhone ever. I love using it. Da, 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 these are the features, whatever. And then Samsung comes and then I'm saying, oh, I love my Samsung. Da, 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 da. Samsung is the great, best thing, you know, uh, then what about what I said about the iPhone? You know, there's a difference if I say a comparison between the two, between the Samsung and the iPhone, uh, that's different. Um, that is a comparison. Um, but if I endorse something, you must understand that I've tried it, I've en enjoyed it, and I've liked it. For instance, last night when I enjoyed the frozen food, I bought that stuff with my own money. Uh, they didn't ask me to go in there. They didn't give me a voucher or anything like that. Uh, I mean, and I wanted to share my experience with you honestly, because if I say this tastes good and you go out and buy it and it doesn't taste good, it's on me. Then you're going to say, 
uh, actually, what is Tools talking about? He's talking shit. You know what I mean? So that's why for me, my credibility when it comes to social media is paramount. Is, and there's not enough money in the world that will make me deter from that. I even remember, but this is more on a branding uh, side of it, is a brand uh, offered me quite a bit of money um, over a period of time to uh, be one of their ambassadors and judge a competition that they had. And I said, okay, well, I don't know this brand, but send me the product and I'll try it out and see. When this product arrived, <laughs> it was just not me. It was just not me. And I had to turn the offer down. This was a big retainer of a couple of months and, you know, like an endorsement of so sorts. It was one of the hardest things to do. But, you know, for me to put my name to this brand, it was I was like, no, I can't do that. It, people are going to be like, what on earth are you doing? Why are you doing this? This doesn't make sense. You know, so it was something that I turned down. Um, and I think, unfortunately, um, when I did turn it down, I think I got blackballed with the other brands that they have, the company has. So, which is okay. It's fine. I do buy the other brands that they have, which are stunning and amazing. Uh, but this one particular brand that I got approached by, for, I said no to. And not because a brand is bad. It's because it just doesn't fit with who I am with the things that I do and the, the brand that I have created over many, many years. I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> so uh, I, I don't want to be associated with, with chopping and changing and uh, doing one thing and then another thing. And then, you know, it's like, what is he doing? So, yeah. So, Know that you are in safe hands whenever I speak about anything because I'm going to be very honest and open about everything that I like, enjoy, and endorse. Hey, Hi there, how are you? Good, how are you? Very well, thank you. Let's start tonight. Yes, it is. Okay. Thank you so much. Are we opening the box now? Just to get one, I'm white. Guys, I, well, if you're going to do shoot the campaign for me, then you can. No. Exactly. No, yeah, I forgot to do it. I think you can get underneath. Um, 25623 all right today i have the crab defrosted thank god <laughs> because this must give you a clue if you're on tiktok then you'll know exactly what i'm about to make if you guess the viral cucumber salad you are correct so there is a creator on tiktok his name is logan and i have saved his uh, tiktok to create the uh, cucumber salad it, it almost he says in the video tastes like a uh, sushi roll like a california roll so i'm excited to try it but before i do this and also film for a TikTok and for Instagram Reels. I wanted to say 
the TikTok app is insane. So, obviously, yeah, Logan created this viral sensation that is the cucumber salad. And so in some of his recipes, he uses the everything bagel seasoning. There is a company called Mingle Seasoning in Australia. And obviously, this viral sensation went global and Australia is one of the places that was able to that made the cu cucumber salad uh, viral and it, it, they have been sold out of course of cucumbers and all the ingredients and one of the ingredients was everything bagel seasoning which mingle seasoning in Australia is the only uh, people is the only business that does the everything bagel seasoning in Oz so they were sold out of the everything bagel seasoning and because of this viral sensation and everyone making this cucumber salad and they also called their manufacturers uh, to work a weekend shift because they sold 10 weeks of stock within one week so that is just such an incredible story and just from you know something so simple as a, sharing a recipe on TikTok, how it has such global appeal and people picking it up and doing, you know, apparently also cucumbers are very um, vast and hard to get a hold of globally now. So I, I just love stories like that to that. Now the small business is thriving, you know, they didn't know it was just by, almost by accident. I know that there's also another creator on TikTok. He would go to restaurants, Kevin Lee. And rates them, and people caught on to his reviews of the restaurants, and then the restaurants would be uh, heaving for weeks on end because he gave them a rave review. Uh, yeah, I think his name is Kevin Lee. So I love the fact of how a small business can thrive if you've got a great idea and it's great and. Um, you've got a business you never know when the next uh hit or next wave of your business is going to be so you might be stressing and uh whatever business you're doing whatever thing you're doing you never know what will happen around the corner that will just give you the boost that you need so yeah anyways not talking let me make this cucumber salad Okay, I think I have all the ingredients. All right, here we go. I have all the ingredients to make the TikTok viral cucumber salad done by Logan. Let's go. most important part of this whole thing the taste test it's a little bit browner than Logan's because I did oh uh, well there's also a whole lump of cream cheese <coughs> in the middle <laughs> oopsie um, okay it's fine let's do a taste test nonetheless Mmm, mmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is great. But how do I get this cream cheese to be a little bit more looser? Or is it because I put so much in? Oh my god, but this is great! <laughs> I wonder how healthy this is though. Every quantity that I put in, I put in like a quadruple of what I should have done. So, it tastes amazing. It tastes so good. I love it. It does taste like a um, crab California roll. So if you like sushi, you're going to love this. Let me just shake it one more time. But definitely try it. It's great. If I can do it, you can. Okay, here we go. Finished. I'm doing the viral, the vertical video. 
but this is way too much food and I want to go to Pilates in the Lala, so um, this will have to be <laughs> lunch for the next couple of days. I hope it stays. Okay, ladies, now let's get to Pilates. I slay. Okay, ladies, now let's get to Pilates. You know that app, the Virgin Active app, there's only a couple of uh, Reformer Pilates carriages and you have to book them in advance. By the time it opens up for bookings, it's always fully booked. So I always just take a chance and get there. Um, so if anybody doesn't arrive by 25 past five, then I have a carriage to myself. So let's hope I get my 16 carriages. Look how cutesy, how demure, how mindful. You know, relatively tidy, relatively clean here in the kitchen. And then. A mess. A mess on the other side. See, this is what happens when you shoot campaigns. So, the part where you're shooting is always going to be tidy and clean, but then. The rest of the apartment is a mess and a disaster. And here I was thinking I was not going to drink alcohol uh, in, during the week. Uh, but now I've opened up two of these drinks and I'm not going to throw them down the drain. So there goes that. I, it's not bad that I'm just having two, but... No, it is bad. Um, it's fine. It's whatever. I was working. Anyways, but it took forever. Hey, what is the time? Oh, well, I can just take a look on my... 3.40. I started at about 2. So, one and a half hours about to do this uh, campaign. Oh, anyways, um, that's done. Uh, so I just need to edit it. So, which is fun and easy. So I'm going to tidy up this kitchen and this apartment a little bit. Uh, I wasn't going to pick up this camera because I don't want the vlog to be long and me waffling on. But apparently, you guys love my personality. You love uh, my authenticity. And you enjoy uh, watching long vlogs. So... I'm gonna give the people what they want. And so, uh, yeah, but it's just, when it comes to editing, that's another story. Then it takes forever for me to edit when I have long monologues of a spoken word. Then I have to edit that. And with more editing means more music. Anyways, <laughs> it's fine. Which brings me to a great segue. Uh, with, when I talk about music is the Spotify spot. If you're new to this channel, I do a segment on my vlog. It's called the Spotify spot where I highlight musical podcasts that I'm enjoying on Spotify. So today's Spotify spot goes to the one and only Sam Smith. They came out with an album in the lonely hour and I really loved Sam Smith when they uh, released that album. It's the 10th anniversary of their album. So um, you might be wondering, why are you calling Sam Smith they and them and using... Those are the pronouns that Sam would like to be known by. So if you don't know it, go look it up. Um, I think it is important to be cognizant of people's pronouns. My pronouns are he, him, and bitch. Uh, <laughs> and I think Sam Smith's voice is incredible. I listened while well, I watched an NPR tiny desk with them uh, just recently. And I think they performed it a while ago. And I don't know why I had never gone around to uh, listening to their performance and 
it was incredible. Their voice, their voice is incredible. Yeah, the falsettos and I was listening to the 10th anniversary of In The Lonely Hour. You will know this album uh, when you hear it. Can I just lay me down next to you? Um, oh, by the way, these julep flowers are stunning. I wonder if it's sub subscription based. And where are they based? You know, although I do love the art of going to go get, getting my flowers, but love this. I'm going to look into this. But I remember, I wasn't going through a breakup. Was I going through a breakup when In The Lonely Hour got released? I don't think so. But I remember, oh, like having feels for someone and it spoke to me in such a way that you know that unrequited love oof, it can really be a bitch sometimes anyways i do find sam smith's fashion sense a little bit questionable but i'm not talking about their <laughs> fashion i'm talking about their music and i really love oh uh, uh, like Actually, there are a lot of songs that I really love from Sam Smith. Uh, the thrill of it all, the James Bond, oh, I've got goosebumps. The James Bond, um, the writings on the wall, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, Oscar nominated or Oscar winning uh, song, beautiful song. Uh, but from that um, album, the thrill of it all, him pray. Uh, yes. Oh, I've got goosebumps just thinking about the music. I'm gonna listen to it right now. So I was listening to the 10th anniversary of In The Lonely Hour and I was surprised. I was like, wait, I've never heard the song, so... I never heard the song, so there are new bonus tracks on the album and songs that they have reworked. See, it can be very tricky sometimes. And it's okay if you mess up people's pronouns. It's okay, and I think um, the... Le Jerebaqua, my family, my community, the LGBTQIA plus family should be cognizant and just should be understanding that people are going to sometimes mess up a pronouns. But we're not talking about pronouns, we're not talking about their fashion. We're talking about their music. Uh, so I was talking about In the Lonely Hour and how I found some bonus tracks on there which I've never heard. Uh, there's a song called Little Sailors and they call their fans little sailors so i guess i'm a sam smith little sailor and where is it but just beautifully done stay with me oh beautiful and then i did not like the collaboration with kim petrus uh i wasn't a fan of that with unholy but um I must actually listen to the Gloria album again. I think I just listened to her a couple of times and then I was like, yeah, okay. Uh, but then I uh, listened to, yeah, Love Goes with Labyrinth. Oh, what a beautiful song. That actually, unfortunately, that reminds me of that moment when I was seeing a homeless guy. Um, that's because this album came out then and yeah, the song with Labyrinth Love Goes. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put a playlist of all the Sam Smith songs that I love and I'm going to, uh, put it in this playlist. So what you need to do right now is take a screenshot of this video and then in your Spotify app, go search. And then on the top right hand corner, you'll see an, a camera icon and then upload the screenshot to the Spotify app. And then you'll be able to get a list of all the Sam Smith songs that I love because there are quite a few that I want to curate very well. And, and I think to put it into like a mood sort of, so maybe up tempo into, uh, 
ballads or start with ballads and then go to up tempo because there's some up tempo songs that I really really love there are some ballads that are just so beautiful uh, the covers that I really love I think he covers uh, Donna Summer I feel love oh and baby how do I sleep when it oh so good so 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 good yeah and Promises. Oh, Promises actually reminds me of our friend Cation to Nisna with all the gays. It's so amazing just how, like when you hear a, a really exceptional voice and music that really moves you, it always takes you back to, for me, it takes you back to a time, to a memory. That's why I love music so much. And also smells, you know, I have smells that resonate with ex-boyfriends, uh, smells that resonate with a certain time, uh, music that um, resonates with a certain time. So I'm going to do that playlist for Sam Smith. Please go check it out. Let me know what you think. If you have any Sam Smith songs that you love, please comment them down below. And yeah, all the love to Sam Smith. For someone who didn't want to vlog today, all she wants to do is talk. Talk, 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 talk. <laughs> Where do you spend your time thinking? I have realized that I come up with all my ideas and thinking and uh, creativity really happens for me in the shower. Yeah, it's very, very bizarre. Um, to the point where I even feel like I need to put some sort of notepad and, um, well, obviously like a whiteboard marker. A uh, whiteboard and a whiteboard marker in there so that I can just write notes. Um, because I, like, today I went through so many things in my head uh, that I were... Like, but it's more creativity and like uh, how I put my presentations together or um, ideas that I come up with proposals. Uh, yeah, so it's not not such thinking of okay, this is my day and this is how the meeting should run and the agenda for today. Or it's more of a creative space. I don't know if it's a water or if it's I don't know what it is, but yeah, that's what I do when I'm doing my skincare, when I'm doing uh, the normal shower stuff and uh, all of it. The cucumber salad. Remember how much I made yesterday? I finished it all. I, while you saw me last night, chompe, I finished it all. I finished that whole thing. Because it was so good. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, tonight, we're going to continue on with Frozen For You. I have... I can't remember what it is, but I'll show you a little bit later. Let me edit. And then, we'll cook dinner later.
dinner is ready in less than 15 minutes. I love to see it. I do think that me adding this braai relish maybe ruined the flavors because it smelled so good. Like it was a barbecue chickeny flavor. But that's okay. I mean, it didn't have like a gravy. So I wanted to just add something. Right, let's dish up. I should have just heated up this relish and not poured it. That's what I should have done. So my assessment tonight is not going to be accurate. Damn it, man. Okay. But it smelled really good. I, will, I won't lie. It smelled amazing. So I can't really say what the taste will be like because I've ruined it. And it tastes great. It's good. I mean, I, all I taste is this braai relish, but... Mmm. Very good. For someone that did not want to vlog today, I am speaking to you quite a bit. <laughs> but it's good. I enjoy it. Uh, my dinner tonight was great. Uh... As I said earlier, I just wish I didn't put that braai relish on uh, because it 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 should have been on the side. Uh, but I will buy that sticky chicken again because it smelled amazing when it was in the air fryer. So I just want to have that alone and see how that is. And I'll let you know. Uh, I was productive from 2 p.m. today. I think... Yeah, my morning wasn't very productive and I'm feeling, yeah, that I need to get back into some sort of productivity and a pro productive day and a productive week. So um, hopefully I can get into a routine of going to the gym in the morning and then coming back shower and then being sat at my desk uh, you know, ready to work. Uh, so we're going to try do that now that it's warmer because I think I, I was training in the evenings because, excuse me, um, it was freezing and I don't like the cold. So uh, yeah, it was because of that. So let's try and do that. And then also the most important thing to have a good morning routine is to have an even better nighttime routine. I have started reading which is wild uh, Pedro lent me this book which is quite good I'm enjoying it uh, and I always feel like if a friend recommends a book or loans me or gives me a book I feel like it's so personal it's like you know what I would enjoy and the fact that you're lending it to me or, you know, you've gifted it to me, it means a lot to me. So, um, and I generally read those books, uh, you know, in its entirety. Uh, but yeah, I'm still getting through this one. So hopefully I can finish it before I have to give it back to him. Uh, but yeah, enjoying it. So what I was saying is that from a nighttime routine... I want to just perfect that in terms of doing skincare, uh, winding down, uh, no electronics. Uh, so, yeah, I want to also get some ideas of how to, um, you know, wind down, you know, drinking chamomile tea, chamomile lavender uh, tea, you know, just before bed. So um, hopefully we can get that system going because sleep is so important for your circadian rhythm, for just ha having a better day, you know. And as I said the other day, without one night not drinking alcohol and, you know, being uh, and going to bed early was so beneficial for my next day. So, um, yeah, I need to just cut down a lot go back to not drinking in the week and only drinking in the, on the weekends so yeah we'll we'll get there i know i've done it before and yeah we'll see uh and just i'm 40 
<laughs> I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I can't bounce back like I used to. Uh, but anyways, uh, I will see you in the morning. Um, I'm going to watch, I think, a YouTube video and then head to bed. Yeah. Or might even head to bed right now. Yeah. Anyways. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> I have just received an email that I am going to be doing another campaign with Disney Plus but you'll need to watch next week's vlog to find out all about it so that's super exciting good afternoon hi I am dressed and ready in the tightest pants ever to go to the pop-up of Kenzo. What shoes am I wearing? Um, Bottega? Bottega? Should we do Bottega? No, tops. Let's do tops. Oh, no. Stubs and Wu Tong. Yeah, I think that's a good decision. Then we'll just roll up the pants. Kenzo is obviously an Italian brand, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, they have a pop up in Sandton City. Uh, my friend Kyla is the brand manager for. Um, the store, what's well, for the brand actually in South Africa, so yeah, he invited me and I'm super excited to go check it out. I have seen it, but I haven't seen the merchandise up close and personal, and that's what today is going to be about. So, we're gonna go take a look at um Kenzo and have a great evening, okay? Fragrance, I think. We're going to say hello to Mr. Paddington, Paddington Bear, so fresh, oh, ah, <laughs> it always surprises me how I love this fragrance, oh, she is a beauty, yeah, I do, I do love this fragrance, because I, oh, it's so not what I'd ordinarily wear, but then when I wear it, I'm obsessed with it. If you love Niroli Portofino from Tom Ford, you'll love this. Okay. It is not summer as of yet. That's why I am wearing a jacket. Otherwise, I would have just gone without it. But I quite like this look. Right, car keys and let's go to Sanchez. Boy, I'ma make you love me, make you want me And I'ma give you so much attention Tonight You follow my intuitions, what you wish on So I'ma keep you up all night For a long time So start counting away Break me off, show me what you got Cause I don't want no harm in a man Break me off, show me what you got Little event. I really had a great time. It was nice to 
uh, see the other kids out and about. It was, yeah, it was great. Uh, got, make sure you go to Santon City. And the pop-up is by uh, Mont Blanc and Cartier. And like Louis Vuitton. It's like right there. Like if you look up from Centre Court, the Fountain Court, Centre Court, you will see uh, the pop-up. So, yeah. Very, very nice. And very minimal, easy, nice stock. Uh, I was wrong. The brand is from, <laughs> is originates from J Japan and France. So w where I got Italy from is incorrect. Also with the tiger motif. What what was I thinking? Dens for tonight is the bacon linguini. So yeah. When I think of dinner, it's only at lunchtime. I should have taken this out this morning, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. The best thing about this is that you can heat this up from frozen. So that is great. We love that we can heat up from frozen. Uh, and also it can happen in the air fryer. It doesn't have to be in a, a conventional oven. So here I was only using the air fryer, air fryer to heat up a chicken breast and chicken strips and now we found many a use for it i mean you're heating up this <laughs> heating up food but um yeah i'm glad that my phillips air fryer has come into very very good use still no wine which i'm very happy about well in it's not like i crave wine it's not like oof, i wish i had some wine right now no i don't feel like that because generally <laughs> i mean after a long day then i'm like mm, it would be so nice to just kick back pour myself a glass of southern right and enjoy i don't feel like i need that right now um maybe yeah tomorrow when i'm back from the comedy yeah maybe i'll feel like that but for now health 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 darling health 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 That's, that's fucking great. Absolutely fucking great. Okay, I can't heat in the air fryer, so we'll just have to use a microwave. Um, and it's quicker. 10 minutes. Okay, no foil. I don't need foil because we don't want to blow up the microwave. Okay, so remove, <laughs> remove sleeve and pierce holes in the film. I've taken off the phone. <sighs> Fuck. Well, it's just gonna have to go into the microwave without film. Whatever. Actually, I'm just gonna put it in the oven. At 180. We're taking it old school. Girl, we're taking it old school. That's okay. You see, but what I do love is that the air fryer is not the only way I can uh, heat this up. I can heat it up in the stove and I can heat it up in the microwave. I like, you see, solutions. I'm a solutions-based person. This makes me very happy though. Yeah, so. Three weeks since you were looking for your friend The one you let hit it and never called you again Remember when he told you he was about to bench your man You act like you and him, they give him a little trim To be there, how you think you really gonna pretend Like you a 
wasn't down and you called him again plus when you give it up so easy you ain't even fooling him if you did it then then you probably did it again. talking out your neck saying you're a christian a muslim sleeping with the chin now that was the sin that did jezebel and who you gonna tell when the repercussions spent showing off your ass cause you thinking it's a trend girlfriend let me break it down for you again you know i only say it cause i'm truly genuine don't be a hard rock when you really are a gem baby girl respect is just the minimum and you still defending them now lauren is only human don't think i haven't been through the same predicament let it sit inside your head like a million women in philly pen it's silly when girls sell their souls because it's sin look at where you be in hair weaves like europeans fake nails done by koreans come again Dinner is now served, but before I dig into this, I need to do a taste test for you. Let's get some bacon. It smells really great. And tastes even better. Wow, baby. Oh, my love. Oh, oh, that's my Michelle. Mmm, 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 mmm. My mama. Mmm. Oh yes. Mmm. Baby, that pasta was incredible. Out of this world. What would be great with it would be a nice glass of Southern Rite Pinotage. However, <laughs> that can only happen on the weekend because I am not drinking for the week. Yes, I'm still sticking to that. I will drink on the weekend. For now, I'm just going to enjoy my Coke Zero. Delicious, yummy, <laughs> amazing. And I even have limes to make margaritas. Ah, but that will have to wait for the weekend. <laughs> I buckled and decided to listen to Sabrina Carpenter and the new Charlie XCX because that's what all the kids and all the gays are listening to. It's terrible. That music is terrible. Yo, no, no, no. What are you guys listening to? That music is shit. Absolute shit. No. No, no, no. D maybe I'm just not the target market and I don't listen to shit bullshit music because, yes, I'm not having a brat summer or whatever it is. Anyways, my final verdict on Frozen for You is that the food is great because there's a variety and we are all accustomed and we know the Woolworths two minute you know, easy heat up meals. I, I think that there's a variety of things that you can definitely choose from, which makes, makes it easier for when you want to know what's for dinner. Because for me, I hate that question. And it's also just the bane of my existence. So I like that there's a lot of variety that, uh, that they offer. And I think it's well priced. Um, I think I paid... 400 rand for the meals for this week uh, yeah so what and the other thing is that I love that you can heat up from defrosted so you don't necessarily have to defrost it like I always forget to do that so which is great so love that um, what I can't do is have the... Well, I can, but...
but I'll just need to put it in the stove is a portion for two people or four people because I need to put it in the convention convectional oven, which is fine. I don't mind. Yeah. But, um, it's nice that I can buy one, one, one. I can buy fish today. I can have uh, meat the next day and then I can have chicken. You know, it's not the same thing with meal prep. You are eating the same thing for four days, which is just can be annoying. But, um, yeah, I like that uh, Frozen For You has the variety it does. I'm going to make my way through the menu and obviously I will keep you posted with the dishes that I love. I mean, has this become a, a turned into a, a food vlog? It's just all about food. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad that my campaign that I shot earlier with you guys. Well, I, did I show you? I can't remember. Uh, it got approved. Easy. I, you know, it's so nice when I sh shoot things once, send it through, I, and I get no reverts. I mean, it hardly happens with me where, you know, um, agency or brand managers uh, respond back to me saying that they want to change things because I am a one and gun. I'm, I'm really, you know, good at these things and I, and if they do I try to push back um, I'm like this is how I speak to my audience and this is how I'm going to do it and also they have an idea of how I'm going to present to um, the platform whatever platform it is so yeah that's that I am dressed and ready because I'm going to an event and it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be cool. Uh, the polo is happening at the end of the month. And today's event is the launch, the pre-launch for that. So um, that is going to be fun. And that's going to be great. So, yeah. Oh, back to music. Uh, Tate McRae has released her song, um, you will you would have known her song called Greedy. Um, so she's released a new song. I've seen it all over the clock app with people doing choreography. So I'm going to do a reaction video to her music video for that. The song is quite a bop. I heard the song, so I'm going to do a reaction video later because I need to go now. Uh, I thought I was going to do it. Uh, a little bit earlier, but we have no time. So, shoes on, and let's go to the Heineken pre-polo brunch. My apologies, I did not tell you the fragrance of the day. And I am going to be put, going in with the Cypress and Grapevine, which is endorsed by my work colleague, Tom Hardy. Yes, we're colleagues because I also work on Jomelon. And then I think I'm going to pair it up with some English pear and freesia. We love some English pear and freesia. I think I've done this combo before. And I enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Settle like that. We love this. You know, the fact that you can fragrance layer, it doesn't feel like it's overbearing and too much. Um, but we love this. Amazing. Thank you, Joe Malone, for, you know, giving us endless options because you can wear this alone, you can wear this alone, and you can wear this together. So, essentially giving you three ways, three fragrances, you know? What a nice day in the sun with fantastic people. I had a great time and yeah, it was good. The 
Heineken All Invitation Parlor will take place on the 20th of October. I think there will be tickets available. And if this vlog is out by the time you are able to purchase tickets. Lies, lies, and more lies, and lies on top of lies. I will put that in the description box down below. Oh, I did not have any Heineken or wet. I had Heineken, but I had Heineken 0.0, .0 which is the non-alcoholic Heineken, yeah. I still kept to the no drinking, even though it's Friday. And these limes are looking at me like, tools, you want a margarita? <laughs> want to make a margarita? Uh, but yeah, I did not drink um, alcohol now. And I feel good about it. Like, and also, the, te the biggest test is when you're surrounded by friends and everyone's drinking and they're having a good time, you know, uh, that peer pressure gets to me. And today I wasn't feeling it at all. So, um, and I enjoyed the cocktails that I had, the mocktails that I had. So, I probably will have a margarita a little bit later, but we'll see. Um, well, there's wine in the fridge as well, so we'll see. <laughs> Stop music. Okay. Why hasn't anybody told me how easy it is to do music video reactions and edit them and have them up? I just watched this music video and filmed it as a reaction on my reaction channel. Obsessed. So quick. So easy, love the song, uh, love the reaction, and it's so quick and easy to edit. So I can churn out a lot more, and I don't know why I don't do them, thinking that the edit will be take forever. It's a copyright, I think that's what frustrates me. And when I do albums, that's a bit longer. And also when I talk too much, that's when it gets longer. But yeah, I need to, do a lot more reactions. I need to get back into it. I was in such a groove when uh, Beyonce released Kawe Kada and there was music videos being released, etc., uh, from other artists, and which I enjoyed. So I really enjoyed doing this because it was quick and easy, and you know, the video in total is like 14 minutes, but obviously, I need to edit it down. Um, yeah. Let's go to the comedy. Yeah, Impor Pops um, has a new comedy show um, at the Nelson Mandela Theatre. It's called The F Word. He is so funny. He, yeah, and he's such a nice guy. So I'm excited to see what the show will have in store for us. from Muff Town with the hair on his arms that can be braided. Let's hear it for the one and only Vafa Narafi! Vafa <laughs> Vafa! Why does he say himself like a TV call? Narafi! <laughs> Send us your ID number, please. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
sentence in place Legos next week. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't just us on the stage tonight. We had the queen of comedy down in the Eastern Cape. Please put your hands together. Help us welcome back on stage the one and only Kanisa. Yeah. <laughs> it's the return man. <laughs> What's up? Yo, I wanna know the six thousand five hundred you made from today's show. <laughs> what, what are you spending it on, Doctor? What's the first thing you're gonna spoil yourself with? New rims. <laughs> uh Kanisa. <laughs> Of the 7,500 you made on today's show. No, we are woke. I want we make get paid more on this show. What you do, party? What you do, party? I'm gonna buy myself a bulletproof vest. I want to be safe for this. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mpo Pops Murikwani. This is Vafa Narachi. This is Kani Sapuro. Thank you so much for coming on and watching the next show. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Mpo Pops show tonight was amazing. Mpo Pops is the funniest man alive. Fight me. I don't care. I'm telling you. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you that Impo Pops is the funniest man alive. I had such a great time. I laughed. I was crying with laughter. He is so talented and so good at telling jokes and telling stories. I had such a great night. Unfortunately, by the time this vlog is out, it, the show would have been done. But... What I'm going to tell you right now is that whenever I see Mpo Pops at a ticketed event, I will be there. You, you will see me there because I will definitely be there to watch him live because he's a great comedian. Wow, wow, wow. He, he is the best. Honestly, he is the best. Anyways, um, had a great night nonetheless. Uh, Congratulations to Kanyisa and I've forgotten the Persian guy's name. <laughs> uh, but they were fantastic. They were also so good. They were really, really great. I had a great night. So, yeah, that was the F show. And, yeah, came home with a gift from Pedro who gave me Kashal Dinata. I'm going to have two now oh this is so delicious oh so yummy <laughs> we love you okay and then head to bed because i'm exhausted My milkshake. It is ice coffee season, and I'm so excited for it. Mm. Oh, it's like 10 a.m. and it's already so hot in the city. My gosh. Oh, but <laughs> this really tastes like watermelon, and I ain't mad at it. The Nespresso Juicy Watermelon capsules i don't know if 
they were just limited edition, but they are... Sorry. They're made for... Uh, they are made for iced coffee, and it goes down so well. Mmm. I need to record... No copyright issues! Ah! So happy. Okay. So, I remember I was doing the uh, music video reaction. I have no copyright issues on my uh, Tate McRae uh, music video. So, I'm just going to finish it up and publish to Tools Reacts. So, that's amazing. So, the other thing that I'm going to do today is... Uh, film an episode of my podcast. I haven't, yeah, I just need to get that done today uh, before I head out to the music festival that I'm going to. I'm going to, it's personal, and I think it's going to be fun. Okay, stop music. Okay, I am festival ready. So, this is the aftermath of... Uh, doing reaction videos. Uh, we're going in with Orange Blossom. I don't know if Orange Blossom is available, uh, but, and also Murantonka. Murantonka is stunning. I'm taking these with me, along with some skin smoothing cream from Dermalogica. Uh, I wish I had sunscreen. I don't have um, tiny sunscreen. What else do I need? Charger. Okay, my Spotify charger. Let's go, andiamo. My friend Laura, you guys know her. She's no stranger to the vlog. Hi, Laura. I am not, and it's my birthday. Yes! So, so, so make sure you comment down below. Happy birthday, Laura. Okay, so what have we got here? This is some women. Okay. Guys, it is! No happy. Yeah. Make sure you also get the wedding cake there. The wedding cake. I mean, what the Kardashian is going on? <laughs> it's wild. Okay, so what do we have okay. here? So now you dip this in the yogurt. So ah, the what is it called? Uh, you're gonna know how to repeat that. So. <laughs> I've got it on video. So. Lahme bajin. Say it. Lahme bajin. No. Lahme. Lahme. Bajin. Bajin. Yes. Yalla. Now you okay. Can yalla. It. So you dip it in. Well, it would be very stale, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> do you even do the orange? Yes, you do. Really? Do that. But you know what does that do? Okay, but she is. Yeah, see? Mm. 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 Is it good? Yeah. I'm also going to have one. Mm. Mm. Gina, do you want to have it correctly? With the yogurt. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah, I, think it's the I want you to stay. Oh my gosh, girl, girl, oh, I'm just tired, I'm not hungover, which is great, um, I'm just, just a little exhausted, um, but I had such a great time last night, I thought that music at its personal was going to be very hard, like, do, 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 
um, it was very like uh, EDM vibes, but it was it was nice. It was chilled. It was cool. Um, I mean, you go to Joburg and you see the same people that you've known for 20 years just with new faces and but it was nice there's a nice familiarity with seeing people that you know however it's like guys can we just introduce new people honestly it's you know what I mean but um it was a good time I really had a good time and it was nice that uh, Lara and Nick hosted us, which was absolutely fantastic. And it was nice to see all the girls and all of my friends. So, yeah, it was a good time. Super impressed with the terrace at ground. The food was excellent. Um, have to go back there. Uh, was amazing. Had a very busy week. Um, enjoyed the frozen for you. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to definitely try more of those dishes and make my way through that menu. And if you do, let me know your thoughts. But um, if you've gotten this far, in the vlog i want to say thank you so much and the emoji for today will be any food emoji so you can comment um down below with the emoji of any food emoji so i know that you've gotten this far um and i will see you in the next video if you want to watch more vlogs you can click right up here uh but if not i will see you in the next video until then good night god bless goodbye Swim. Bring me down by the river, we can dance through the river, till the sun is high and the water runs dry.